is, of course, Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. Now, does sex, tequila, and rock and roll have quite the same ring to it as the more famous phrase? Well, Jose Cuervo is hoping it does. And here with a special edition Rolling Stones Jose Cuervo Especial and the ultra premium Rolling Stones Reserva de la Familia Collector's Edition is Charles Passy with the Weekend Sip. Hi, Charles. Hey, hey, hey. Great to see you. Yeah. So what is the exact connection between Jose Cuervo and the Stones? Well, it's a bit of a complicated story, but okay. let me see if I can boil it down real simply. Um, in 1972, the Rolling Stones discovered tequila. Um, <laughs> more specifically, they discovered a cocktail called the Tequila Sunrise. Now, we don't know, this is, while they were on tour, they sort of fell in love with this cocktail, and the tour that they were on became known as the Tequila Sunrise Tour. Nice. They drank a lot of tequila on that tour. <laughs> um, we don't know if the tequila they drank was Jose Cuervo. There wasn't a lot of other brands on the U.S. market at the time, so it probably was Cuervo. Cuervo did make a big thing of the tequila seven, uh, the, the tequila sunrise in its marketing at the time, and now all these years later, they've decided to come out with a Jose Cuervo, two different bottles, kind of with a Rolling Stones theme. One's a much more expensive upscale right, version, right? Right, right, right. And you made the Tequila Sunrise. I made a Tequila Sunrise. The famous Tequila Sunrise. I made it with the sort of the, the, the more affordable version. This right. is simply a $17. This is what they call a silver tequila. It's your it's your basic, you know, kind of garden variety tequila. Um, good, a good, fine tequila, but nothing Charles, wrong. I have to tell you, I'm having a tequila moment. I love tequila. <laughs> I'm obsessed yeah. with tequila, right. but I feel like I'm not alone. It's it's sort of en fuego right now. Right, right. Te tequila has been doing very well. I mean, there's really been a tequila boom that goes back more than a decade. It has to do with really the premiumization of tequila. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is that Cuervo has always been kind of the, I mean, it's the largest tequila brand in the world. Their sales are up solidly in the last year. Now, they were taken over by a new company, Proximo, in terms of U.S. distribution, but they are sort of tapping new markets and doing interesting things. The, the, the Rolling Stones marketing speaks to yet another way to sort of tap new markets with this. This is also another interesting thing they're doing upscale, you know, this is this is a yeah. $150 bottle, this is a high-end tequila, but this is your basic garden variety, silver tequila, goes very well in mixing. But, so that's what I was going to ask you, would you sip either of these? This right you would definitely, this, this is a sipping would. tequila, okay. do not put this in a cocktail. Right, right, do not this, sunrise I mean, you can, you can sip a silver tequila, silver tequilas go very well in cocktails, they go especially well in tequila sunrise. All right, well, let's all right, see how it we goes. Go. All righty, all right, cheers, cheers. thank okay. you. What is in this, by the yeah, way? Yeah, orange juice and just a little grenadine, mm. so. That is nice, Isn't Charles it nice? Passy. Isn't it nice? I that mean, is a you know, nice I mean, way to start the, the, the orange juice. I mean, the Stones were onto something back in <laughs> the day. They were. The orange juice and the tequila play Let's nicely have a tequila off each other. All right, there we All go. All right, Charles Absolutely. Passy, thank All you so right. much for that.